What's up everybody and welcome back to BitLife. We are finally playing BitLife again. It's been so long. And today, I'm gonna uh, just say surprise me and see what happens. My job is to not get a job until unless the app tells me to. Um, and I'm just gonna use surprise me. So I'm not even gonna think for myself. So let's just see how the good this goes. So um, we'll, we'll see. His name is Can't Think. He'll be from Canada. That seems to be a perfect place. Alright, your gums are hurting. So the first surprise me. What are you going to pick? What is it going to pick? It's going to pick Mother's Cell Phone. I love chewing on that. That seems like a good thing to chew on. I would chew on it myself if I wasn't an adult now. Someone wants to be my friend. Surprise me. What am I'm going to be friends with her. Okay. It's not quite what I was asking. I just realized I'm friends with someone called Duke Cockburn. That's a really interesting name, buddy. Alright, I'm being bullied. What am I gonna do? Roll the magic dice. I'm gonna report him to the principal. He got it spelled. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, someone just acted up in my class and the surprise me just chose... Um... Attack. Well, what? What's, let's right hook his groin. Yeah, I see that. You tried to deliver a right hook to your classmate who goes but missed. All right. Now I'm in the principal's office. Great. I got it spelled. What did? Hold on. What did I? I have been enrolled at a new school. What did I just call? Okay, so this has just been an eventful year. I tried to right hook my my classmate. I was sent to the principal's office for fighting. I called the principal a wuss. And he had spelled me. You must be really sensitive about that, huh? Uh, okay, Duke Cockburn is now unfriending me. Let's, um, what, what am I gonna do? <sighs> I called him a nerd as he was walking up. That's not really an insult, honestly. That's not. All right, I haven't really spent much time with my family or friends, so it makes sense. I am being bullied. Well, <laughs> what's this going I'm gonna tell my big sister. Jesus Christ, she poked his Adam's apple, she smacked his booty, she larynx his nipple, she bruised his juggler. How old is my sister? Oh, that's my mom. No, I want. How old is my sister? 15. Man, that's. She's rough for being 15. Alright, will I join an extracurricular activity? See what my school offers. Okay, I guess I have to pick one. I'm gonna be in the marching band. Perfect. So now I'm in the marching band at my school. Let's let's practice. Oh god, my parents are concerned about my eyesight. Well, <laughs> let's see if I can even do this. I know this is a bigger screen than a phone, but like, it's actually uh, it's this one. Yes, it's this one. Thank God. Okay, I didn't know. All right, all right. Will I go to university? Tell me, Magic Eight Ball. Yes, I will. Um, should I apply for a scholarship? I have gotten a scholarship somehow. Okay, well, let's just see what university brings me. Your mother has confronted you about your sexuality. Suspecting you are gay, how will you respond? Okay, what is, what am I gonna be? I'm going to argue with her. You rename your mother for questioning your sexuality. Just to be clear, I don't, I haven't, I haven't even had that prompt yet. I don't even know what my sexuality is in this game yet. Let's see. Okay, I am gay. Interesting. Okay. Okay. That's fine. It's just I told her I wasn't gay and then a minute ago I am gay so she's gonna be really confused. I'm not gonna question it though. Alright, am I gonna ask this lovely guy out? Alex, well, I can't pronounce his last name. What? Nope. Alright, I'm not asking the guy out. That's fine. Alright, I graduated. Will I look for a job, seek higher education, or take time off? Okay. Again, I can't get a job unless the, a prompt comes up that says I can get a job. So I'm just jobless right now. This, oh, job referral. Is that for me? Uh, I, I guess it's for me. I got some money coming in now. All right. That's fine. Your co-worker asks you if you would like to try some medicine. Oh, crap. I didn't. Okay, that does not count. I meant to put surprise me, but I asked till I tried it without pressing surprise me. That's fine. That's fine. Look, I'm gonna sign up for Instagram account. That works, right? Like, he doesn't even have a date. He's he's still single and he's 29 years old. He's never dated a single person in his life. This is just, just depressing. 
It is. Okay. I'm gonna break the rules here. Let's find him some love. Let's go on to a dating app. I need to update this version of the game, don't I? Alright, let's, let's go on dating app. Let's get someone really old who has lots of money. You see where this is going, right? Here in Las, will I go to the doctor or will I'm just gonna search the web? You research your symptoms, I have rabies. Okay, will I go to the doctor or I will hope it goes away? <laughs> I don't think that can happen with rabies, but whatever. Alright, I'm gonna propose to his boyfriend. Let's get a fake ring. Yes, let's buy it. That's, let's just hope he doesn't realize it's a fake ring, because I'm not spending that much money. It's not It's not like it's a long-term game. I'm only getting it until you die, so... That's fine. I'm a gold digger. Dana, he identified it. Okay, will I apologize to him? I, yes, I will. Okay, it's gonna take a while for me to up this okay i guess i should get a real ring but at the same time i really just want to propose to him with a fake ring see if we can get somewhere but it's not happening unfortunately i'm giving you a dead daisy and break up with you well that relationship didn't last long okay <laughs> all right and now he's already okay <laughs> all right ignore him that's fine getting someone 80 plus with tons of money uh, okay, go on a date. Yep, this is not like I'm in it for love. I'm just in it for money. I'm gold digging a little bit. I still don't have a... Oh, I do have a job, actually. I completely forgot I had a job. <laughs> Alright. Do I feel like clubbing today? I don't feel like clubbing. Alright. That's fine. My boyfriend died. <sighs> God damn it. <sighs> oh. I forgot to press surprise me again. Why? <laughs> Just a habit. All right, let's get another one who is 80 plus and has tons of money. There we go. Your phones let you. Your friend lets you buy. I don't have friends. That's a lie. Your friend lets you buy your his reflective scholarship. What will you do? What should I do? All right. I just did something boring. That's fine. <laughs> it's all fine. All right. I better marry him before it gets too late. All right. Diamond ring at. A lakeside hike. Proposed to him. He rejected. I wasted so much money on that ring. God damn it. All right, will you marry me now? I just want your money. That's all I want. All right. <laughs> Marijuana farm. That's a horrible place to propose. Let's propose out of bowling that way. Please, come on. One more year. One more year. I'll give you one more year. I'm just... I, I, I need to marry you before you die. I need your money. He's playing hard to get. He died. God damn Damn it! <laughs> Alright, surprise me. Will I go to his funeral? I will attend his funeral. I got a fever. What would I do? Oh my god. I'm just gonna give up on love. I'm just gonna give up on love. Every single person I date dies. You could also say I should stop blaming people so old, but that's besides the point. I'll try one more time. I'll try one more time. I'm trying to do a little bit of gold digging here. That's all I'm doing. But it's not working out. No luck. God damn it. Alright, let's go. Let's wait one year. Alright, it's not finding anyone. Uh, yeah, I'll hook up with someone. Oh well, keep going. <laughs> oh, that was a horrible idea. I just hooked up with someone. So now I have a ring, and I can't seem to find another older lover. God damn it. My father passed away. What would I do? This is... I'm just gonna skip my father's funeral altogether for no reason. Alright. That's fine. All right, that's That's fine. All right, let's try to find love again okay. There we go find love blah 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 no luck. All right, let's try someone a lot younger Who has tons of money? Let's try that Yeah, go on a date. You better not be lying to me because I need that money. Yes, he said yes. He said yes. All right, let's get married before you, your unfortunate death. Let's get married at a winery. Yep, yep. All this is good. Do it. We, we he got so much money. We don't need a prenup. All right, there we go. Let's go. Let's keep Mister Think. All right. Yes, yes. I should be in the will. So let's go to crime. Arrange a hitman. And let's go with husband. Look for a hitman. He was an undercover cop. God damn it! My plan never seems to work. Let's get the let's get the 
<laughs> I have to surprise me. Don't do Butter Defender. I'm 12 years. Okay. Well, I didn't see this turn of events. My husband wants a divorce. He says you can't go without sex while you're in prison. Okay, just hook up then. I don't care. So, so here's what I was doing. I was using you for money. You were using me for sex. You, that's a lot worse. You realize that, right? God, whatever. <laughs> he wants a divorce. All right. I don't know if you can call it broke up when we were married. It was a divorce. All right. He owes me two thousand dollars. Collect my money. Thank you. That was not the amount I wanted, but whatever. I am still very upset. How late? How long am I in here? Am I in here for like my dad's dad? Am I in here for twelve years? Okay. <laughs> parole board. You're up for a parole and have been put in front of the parole board. They ask you the following questions. What did you miss most about the outside? Okay, well, the food switch, and I've been released. God, with 1% health. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I'm divorced now. That's something. All right, well, I plan my mother's funeral. Yes, I will. What would I do? Uh, don't touch him. Okay, we're gonna cremate him. <laughs> okay. What are we gonna do with the ashes? Sprinkle them. All right. I inherited a thousand dollars. Okay, and I am no longer suffering. What? My mom died, and you no longer suffer from depression. How? Okay. All right. I am back together with my ex-husband. We're now dating again. I mean, he. he Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we're back together. How old are you? You're 34 now. All right, that's it's fine. All right, will we finally find love again? This time, not for not to kill him. That's fine. All right, let's get a ring. Let's propose to him already. I can. I still have that fake ring, but I feel like he's not gonna go for that. I also don't have a job. Funnily enough. And I'm not going to get one unless there's something, some reason to get one. Like if, if something came up. Oh, job referral, writer, what would I do? I'm going to take the job. Right, fantastic, I'm now a writer. Okay, I got a job again, you might love that. Let's propose at a landfill. Why would we propose at a landfill? Let's propose at the beach, please accept it. God damn it, stop rejecting my, my proposal. Alright, stop it. Just stop it. Accept it. Now. God damn it, he's still saying no. I will get you to accept my proposal one way or another or I'll kill you. <laughs> Why does it always end in murder for me? He's playing hard to get. He's not He's not saying yes to my proposal. Come on, say yes. He finally accepted it. It took long enough. Alright, let's get married for the second time. Yeah, all that that's gonna go in with the default options. Wait a minute, hold on. His name is Ralph Think Think. Oh my god, that's such a horrible name. Oh god. Alright, let's just live the rest of our days out. I'm not gonna kill him at all. No, don't you dare. Okay, thank god. Someone wanted me to take a package to Vietnam, pay $3,000. Like, I already have lots of money. Plus, I know what that's gonna do. Insult. You saw someone call your husband Ralph a jackass. What will we do? We're gonna forgive him. Good. You're, you're doing the good options, at least. Your neighbor's house is on fire and you hear a man screaming from the inside. What will you do? We're going to call the fire department. Couldn't be helped. Right, but they were too late. He died. Oh, I should have just helped him then. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, God. Okay, this. I, I keep getting. Attacked. I keep getting attacked. Oh, my husband's bald now somehow. <laughs> Alright, we're finally seeing a doctor for a medical issue. Actually, never mind. We're not going to see a doctor. Alright, that's fine. Stiffness. Oh, God. Take some aspirin. I don't think that's going to help, buddy. I, I really want to know what you got, but you keep denying to go to the doctor. Can I just go in here? I'm not going to treat it or anything because that goes against it, but I want to see what you got. You got arthritis. That's all you got. Okay. I don't think that's curable, but whatever. 
Okay, so I went to my stepsister's funeral, who I absolutely hated, but didn't go to my big sister's funeral, who attacked a bully for me one time. Alright, well, all my family is dead except my husband. That's it, about it. I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh, I got scandalous. That's fine. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's see here. I tried to commit murder, but that didn't work. Um, and I spent 10 years in prison. <laughs> Can't think passed away at the age of 80. His funeral was attended by his beloved husband, Ralph, who he was married to twice. A dapple and sharp fella, he studied biology in college, which I didn't even know he studied that in college, to be honest. Kant got a job as a factory worker and put in 41 years with whatever that's called. Friends describe him as often a fizz uh, to inversors that cross him. You're not going to talk about the attempted at murder. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give a like. I really appreciate it. This was fun. I, I really did enjoy it. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.